Third and Long with Dave Dickinson is brought to you by Supreme Menswear. Stand out and look your best with Supreme. Welcome to Third and Long, Mike Lonsborough with the coach, Dave Dickinson, and with our stylist. We're at Supreme Menswear. Aaron Miller, what have you got? Well, coach Dave in. Today, guys, um, well, setting up Dave, getting to know you, your style, with the hat, we're rocking the hat today too. But I wanted to just go light, easy with the color tones, with the light blue, and a check on basically a pattern for a shirt. So just something easy, lightweight for summer. And then on you, on the other hand, now we're rocking the three piece. So we got the vest, texture on texture on texture, which this fits you, Mike. So basically I was playing to your personalities and of course wanted to contrast with you guys on uh, on screen. So. so you're saying I'm a little louder than Dave? Why? Well, yeah, in more ways than well, one. I, I think definitely don't crazy. have the hair like you boys. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, there we so go. <laughs> that might take me a year or so to get, get length like that. So <laughs> we'll work on it. Perfect. There Thanks, we sir. Go. Good job. Oh, no, pleasure, guys. Have fun. All righty. Yeah. So, Coach, we uh, unfortunately have to start this first season with uh, a loss uh, to the Hamilton Tie Cats. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. You had some great special team moments, and you gave up a couple of touchdowns in special team. We did. I mean, it's weird how emotions is uh, we blocked the punt. First off, we get a fake punt. I, I felt good about that. Uh, yeah. Into the wind, and then we block a punt. So it looks good. Mark Killam's probably on the top of the world. And then, uh, yeah, we give up a 104-yard kickoff return, and then Miss a field goal in the end of the first half, he goes 115. Two huge chunks. You know, we feel like we go into halftime tied, but yet we should be up by 14. And uh, it did take a little bit of wind out of our sails. Our guys fought hard, but it was a tough place to play, too. It was windy. Um, they're a good team, but uh, we kind of feel like we let one go there. Yeah, uh, the receivers didn't have their best day. Uh, some of your best players didn't have their best game. That's what it came down to. I mean, there's some drop passes, some fumbles. Yeah, I mean, in professional sports, there's a lot of good players, but it's just like any sport that, uh, you know, if your best players are playing well, you got a real good chance to win. Um, you know, I've had many three interception games, hopefully not many, but I've had a few. <laughs> and sometimes you can't pinpoint why. Um, you know, we definitely had the drops, and uh, we didn't have our top of our game offensively, fumbles. Uh, we need to bounce back. If you're really, like, to me, uh, go back to who you are, go back to the details. Uh, we'll get an opportunity real quick because we're playing Toronto uh, right away. Uh, let's make sure we, we handle our business and, and, and get better. What's with you and the injury bug? I mean, last year was unbelievable, but this year, especially on that D-line and the number of people that you guys have lost, it's, yeah. it's, it's mind-boggling, really. We, uh, we seem to pick like a, a certain position every year. You know, a few <laughs> years ago it was offensive line. Last year's receivers, uh, it was crazy. You know, if you look at what we've done this year, we lost a lot of people anyway sure. uh, with the NFL free agency. Uh, we lost a lot of our good D linemen now as well. Uh, Bo's on the sixth game, uh, our best player. Uh, I still think we got the talent though. Uh, we do a pretty damn good job at, at finding the right people. I think we can fit them into our system. Uh, but we're, we're taxed thin. I think what people don't realize is all the injuries, you know, oh, he played offense, he played defense. Well, they've taken a toll on our special teams, our cover teams. Some of our best cover players aren't around. Um, Will Langley was hurt. Um, Dwayne Norman's a good uh, special teamer. We've already lost uh, some of our better ones. Alex Singleton was a hell of a special teamer yeah, last year. Uh, Jameer Thurman. So like those guys we've lost and with these injuries, we're playing with guys basically we took off the street, um, meaning that they, some of them didn't even get training camps with other teams, but uh, we need bodies and we need guys to fill in and we're trying to, f to kind of find the right bodies. Uh, but uh, they need more coaching and they need a little bit more attention to detail. You brought Bo up. Uh, what is the latest on him? And do you think it'll be a six game <clears throat> sit up? I think it can be. I think uh, he's doing better. Um, I don't think you want to go back and put him in the game though and then have this injury pop up again. Um, so he's got some shoulder tightness in his pec. Uh, there's definitely an injury. So we want to make sure that when he's back playing that he's feeling as close to 100% as possible. Um, could be six, could be a little longer, could be a little less. Uh, I think six is a number that's a pretty fair number. And hopefully he's doing all the right things to get himself healed. Nick Arbuckle has come in and he's played very well. He surprised a lot of people. Uh, your thoughts on him and the history that you've had with him. Finding that guy uh, down in a, in a, in a camp. Uh, he was with BC, you got him back. So it's kind of nice to see him fit yeah. in. I don't know if a lot of people know Nick's story. He uh, came down, basically, uh, uh, we got him, actually we brought him up to Calgary the first time on an expanded practice roster. Um, we had seen tape of him, we liked what we saw. 
Um, he popped a little bit. You know, he's not a real impressive uh, physical athlete. He's not overly big, overly fast, but he made some plays. Um, so we brought him down the next year and it just, he still did everything right, but we had a six foot five guy that uh, sometimes those things, I guess, you know, you look at it and you think he should be better than the other guy. Mm -hmm. uh, we let Nick go. Uh, he took a year off football, uh, with coach to his alma mater, Georgia Sun, or yeah, uh, Georgia State. And then he came back and signed with BC. And um, <clears throat> he just, it was interesting because Andrew Buckley retired. I had a backup job available. I thought he could do it. Um, I called Jarius Jackson in BC and uh, they had let him go. And I said, what'd you think? He said, you know, I think he's got something. Same thing I thought. Went to Huff and just said, hey, let's, let's do this. You know, either let's, let's just give him a chance, let him earn it. And the kid's done nothing but uh, improve and do the right things. And we still miss Bo. I'm not saying that uh, we're, we're doing uh, things exactly the same with, right. yeah. without Bo, but Nick has done an outstanding job and he certainly played well enough for us to win this past game. All right, thanks coach. This is fun. Our first virgin run of third and long.